During the funeral, a military dog fights against his leash and dashes toward the casket, whimpering in despair. He longs for his owner to return to life, but no matter how much he desires it, his wish will be in vain. Later, he lies on the ground quietly, resembling a helpless child, awaiting his impending fate of being put down. However, unbeknownst to everyone, this dog carries a hidden mission, to avenge his owner, whose untimely demise should have never occurred. Max used to be a highly decorated military dog who outdid his performance during his service in Afghanistan, teamed up with his handler, Kyle, they have accomplished numerous heroic feats. A few days ago, just like usual, on a mission, Max is walking in the front leading the troops, suddenly, he stops midway, sensing danger. However, their leader, Tyler, tells them they have a mission to finish and assigns Max to continue leading, Kyle reluctantly obeys Tyler's order urging Max to move forward. Max walks directly into a trap set by the locals, causing several explosions around him. Kyle rushes to save his dog, shouting for Tyler's help, but Tyler remains motionless behind the rocks. In the ensuing shootout, Kyle is killed, later Tyler approaches, and he is on the verge of killing Max to eliminate any potential threats he might be facing. Back in Texas, Kyle's brother, Justin, is busy playing video games and makes his father disappointed for his irresponsibility, the two engage in a heated argument. Shortly after, officials arrive at their house to deliver the news of Kyle's death, devastating the family. After Kyle's funeral, Max refuses to leave, crazily tearing at the rope until Justin calls out to him, finally calming him down. With Justin's assistance, the soldiers manage to secure Max and transport him to a shelter. After that, Justin returns home resuming his usual routine of playing video games while coping with the loss of his brother and blaming his father for sending Kyle to the military. Amidst another argument, Justin's mother informs them that Max is scheduled to be put down. The family visits Max at the shelter, discovering that he has developed a trauma toward loud noises and aggression toward people since Kyle's death. Due to being deemed unfit for further military service and posing a danger outside of it, the decision to put Max down has been made. However, Upon seeing Justin, Max remarkably becomes exceptionally calm. When the young boy offers him his favorite toy and asks him to sit, Max obediently follows without hesitation. Impressed by Max's obedience to Justin's commands, the family decides to adopt him specifically for Justin, also as means of remembering their late son. At home, it proves too dangerous to have Max indoors, so Justin's father ties him in the front yard. Though Justin is unhappy about being Max's caretaker, he accepts the responsibility. Night falls, and consumed by the longing for Kyle, Max begins barking and howling relentlessly, causing distress not only to the family but also to their neighbors. Reluctantly, Justin goes outside to calm Max down but finds himself unable to leave. He then decides to wait for Max to sleep before he can leave, but the following day, he awakens in the front yard, having spent the entire night with his dog. Following this, Justin joins his friend Chewy for their bike ride. At the park, he meets Chewy's dog-loving cousin, Carmen, who offers to assist him in training Max upon learning about his troubles. Later, they meet at Justin's house, and surprisingly, with Carmen's guidance, Max learns to walk alongside Justin. As the day concludes, the mother invites Carmen to join them for dinner, during which emotions run high as they discuss Kyle's death. Suddenly, Max starts barking aggressively outside, and shortly after, the doorbell rings. Justin opens it to find Tyler outside, injured and returned from service. The parents warmly welcome Tyler and welcome him to the 4th of July parade. Justin's mother then takes him to meet Max, hoping for a reconnection between them. However, Max becomes highly aggressive upon seeing Tyler, even breaking free from his leash and attacking him. Thanks to Justin and Carmen's timely intervention, they manage to prevent serious harm. However, Tyler, recognizing Max's true motives, glares at him with anger. The next day, Max displays much friendliness toward Justin. Upon seeing the kind gesture, Justin decides to take Max to the bike park. Carmen expresses her concerns about Max being off-leash, but Justin assures her that everything will be fine. The group of teens soon engages in a biking match. They ride their bikes through the woods while Max faithfully follows behind, maintaining the same speed. Later when they return home, Justin discovers that his father has purchased a cage to prevent Max from attacking people, as happened the previous day. Reluctantly, Justin locks Max in the cage, unwanting to have another argument with his father. A few days later, it's the 4th of July, 
and all the veterans, including Justin's father and Tyler, are invited to the parade. When the night fireworks start, as everyone is enjoying, Justin suddenly realizes the loud noise might have caused Max to panic. Rushing back home, Justin finds Max in a state of fear. He quickly brings Max back home, desperately trying to soothe him. However, overwhelmed with terror, Max refuses to leave the cage. In an attempt to provide comfort, Justin enters the cage himself. Max lies down on top of Justin, finally finding solace and regaining a sense of calm. The next day, Tyler reaches out to Justin's father, wanting to rent one of his storage unit facilities. When asked about Kyle's death, Tyler claims that Max turned against Kyle and attacked him, resulting in him getting shot dead. Saddened by his son's death, the father directs his frustration toward Max. Upon returning home, he points a gun at the dog when no one is around. Fortunately, Justin intervenes and stops his father before he can shoot. Before leaving, the father warns Justin that if Max misbehaves again, they must put him down. Justin gets alerted and suspicious when he recalls Max's reaction toward Tyler the other night. He decides to visit the establishment where Max was trained by Kyle the following day. Kyle's good friend and fellow soldier confirms that Max was an excellent dog and could never have attacked his handler. For the first time, Justin learns that Tyler's return home is not due to an injury but for another reason, leaving him puzzled as to why Tyler would lie about it. Before leaving, the soldier gives Justin a DVD, stating it's classified. Justin brings it to Carmen's house, assuming it's about Max's training videos. While watching the videos of Kyle and Max together, Justin becomes certain that Max could not have caused his brother's death. Suddenly, one of the local gang men arrives at Carmen's house to inquire about a pirated game from Justin. He insults Kyle's death, which infuriates the boy. However, Justin is too weak to fight back. As they talk, the man receives a call from Tyler, which raises Justin's suspicions. Justin decides to follow the man's car to find out what Tyler's business with him is about. They eventually reach a secluded area in the woods where Tyler meets the man and Italian gangsters who are buying guns and weapons. It is revealed that Tyler is involved in smuggling guns from Afghanistan and selling them to gangsters. During their time in service, their superiors question their troop about missing weapons, suspecting corruption within the group. Being aware of his best friend and fellow soldier Tyler's illicit activities, Kyle confronted him during their next field trip. However, Tyler required Kyle to keep his mouth shut. When the incident occurred during their mission, Tyler saw Kyle and Max as potential threats to his hidden and illegal business. Hence, he made the decision to eliminate them. Justin comes to the realization that he must expose Tyler's criminal activities. However, in that very moment, Max is triggered upon seeing one of the gangsters holding a gun. He begins barking, alerting the group of men to their presence. The gangsters also release their two guard dogs to chase them, but Max successfully overpowers the dogs and escapes without being captured. Upon returning home, Justin is surprised to find Tyler and his business partner, a local deputy, at his house. Apparently, they had found Justin's bike in the woods and realized he had seen their dealings with the guns. The deputy falsely claims that Max bit his hand, further asserting that Max is a dangerous dog to everyone and must be put down. Justin becomes aware that Tyler and his accomplice are attempting to deceive others with false stories. He tries to provide evidence to prove his innocence, but unfortunately, his efforts are in vain. Soon, Tyler asks for a word with Justin privately. In the bedroom, he threatens Justin to keep quiet about what he witnessed for his and his family's safety. Otherwise, the boy will end up just like his older brother. Later, the people from the dog shelter come to take Max away. Tyler resumes work at Justin's father's storage unit, where the man confronts him about an occupied storage room without proper paperwork. Tyler claims his friend is using it, but in reality, he is using it to store the guns. Justin becomes all grumpy as Max is taken away, and he feels powerless to expose Tyler's crime due to his own weakness and inability to take action. Later that night, Justin's father returns home and questions him about the events involving Max and the deputy. However, Justin remains silent, unwilling to disclose any information. Also, at the moment, he is not aware that Max has escaped from the shelter. The dog has made his way back home, attacking anyone in his path in order to reunite with his owner, Justin. Sensing that something is amiss, Justin's father decides to venture out alone, hoping to uncover clues. As he approaches the storage unit, he unexpectedly encounters Tyler and the deputy, who is in the process of retrieving the guns. 
Initially attempting to make excuses, Tyler and the deputy soon realizes that his secret has been exposed. They then take the man hostage, planning to kill him once the deal is done. Meanwhile, Justin's mother receives a call from her husband, who claims that he will be sleeping at their hunting cabin for the night. The claim confuses the woman, as they never own a hunting cabin. Shortly after, they hear a dog barking before their house, Justin is thrilled to have Max back. Soon, they visit and inform Chewy about the situation. Following the trail left by Justin's father, Max leads the teenagers, Justin, and his friends, to the site where his father is being held captive. They find a secluded area in the woods, Carmen rushes back to call the police while Justin and Chewie keep an eye on Tyler and his gang. However, the enemy dog senses their presence and begins to chase Max. A fierce and intense fight ensues between Max and the enemy dog. Despite the ferocity of the encounter, Max manages to overpower and defeat the other dog, eliminating yet another threat. On the other side, the father seizes the opportunity and knocks down the guards holding him captive. Just as he prepares to shoot, Max, in a frenzy, charges towards his father. However, instead of reaching his father, Max lunges at the person behind him, overpowering and subduing them. At that moment, the father truly realizes Max's loyalty. Justin arrives at the scene, and finally, the father and son are reunited. They continue their escape, with Tyler relentlessly pursuing them from behind. However, due to the father's leg injuries sustained during the war, their escape speed is greatly reduced. In order to buy his father some time, Justin decides to lead Max and head towards another path, diverting Tyler's attention. While crossing a cliff, Justin injures his leg, and Max nearly falls off the cliff, unable to climb back up no matter how hard he tries. As Tyler closes in, proud of his imminent capture of Justin, he remains unaware that Max charges from behind, pouncing on him and causing both of them to fall beneath the bridge. Shortly after, the police arrive to subside the chaos. Fortunately, Max manages to survive the fall despite sustaining injuries. Justin, carrying Max, stands before his brother's grave and expresses his gratitude to Kyle for giving him such a loyal companion as Max. He salutes his brother for the first time. Upon returning home, Justin notices that Max's cage has gone and asks his father about it. The man reveals that he has sold it because it's time for Max to be treated like a family member and allowed to stay in inside the house. The family is reunited with joy, and Max finds a forever home where he will always be loved and cared for. If you like my channel or enjoy watching me dance, please leave a comment in the comment section saying dance, Adam.